Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've seen this video going around YouTube and I was like, I want to do this too. So basically the concept is that you do your whole face of makeup, you know, using whatever products you want, but that you add everything up and actually see how much it costs. And I haven't fully calculated everything, but I'm pretty sure everything that I'm using is going to be more than $600. Like makeup is expensive and most people don't just buy every single thing like at one go in the store. You know, you pick up pieces here and there, maybe when a new product releases and you're really excited, you go pick it up. But when you really sit and think about everything that you use and how much it costs, it's insane. So I just wanted to do my face, see what everything comes out to and some stuff is definitely high end, but a lot of this stuff, you guys have seen in my videos, I use this stuff all the time. I'm, I'm not just picking things just to throw them in there because they're more expensive or anything like that. I have like, you know, $3 products in here. So if you want to see my full face using over $600 worth of makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with because I always forget to do this is I'm actually going to be using a lip treatment and this is from Nicole Guerrero's line. It's the Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask and it's just like a really nice treatment for your lips. It looks like this. You can see I've definitely <laughs> used a lot of this. I'm not going to put too much on but, but my lips are so dry and so crusty and I always constantly forget to do this. I always use a primer and then I always use my under eye primer. So today I'm using the Urban Decay Self Adjusting Primer and then of course my Pure Hydrogel Lift. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream and I'm using the shade Medium. Oh shit. That didn't work like I expected. Oh god, this stuff smells so good. It just smells like a lemon pie or something. For my concealer, of course, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using these in the shades Light and um, Light Medium. I'm just going to mix them both. And then I'm just quickly going to set just under my eyes using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. And before I like set everything else, I'm going to just finish using the rest of my cream products and then I'll go and finish with the rest of the powders. I'm going to be using the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. I love this thing so much! Next cream product that I'm going to use is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This one is in the shade Sunlight. So it's like a pretty golden color. These are so, so intense. So just a little bit. All you need. This brush is like crusty. 
that's just <laughs> so next I'm gonna be taking the Rimmel oh Jesus I'm gonna be taking the Rimmel stay matte powder and I'm just setting like all the outer edges of my face I can't remember if I've used this on my channel yet or not, but um, this is the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer, which looks like this. So pretty. And I'm gonna be using this to bronze up my face. This does have some shimmer in it, so if you're not a fan of any kind of luminosity in your bronzer, then I don't recommend this one. For my blush today, I'm going to be using this one from Cargo Cosmetics. It's the Water Resistant Blush in Los Cabos, which looks like this. It's very peachy, like super peachy, which I think is going to work really well with the eyeshadow palette that we're going to use today. The second layer of highlight, I am going to be using Jouer's powder highlighter in Citrine, which is um, like a golden, really beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I just wish that they didn't shatter so much. Like, I'm literally losing chunks of this. I don't even do anything to it. I don't travel with it, I keep it in a drawer, but it shatters everywhere. Ooh, that's offensive, you know? Blend that out just a touch. It's just a little bright. Just a little, little too much. I keep forgetting to contour my face. So, because I don't want to contour with that really shimmery bronzer, so I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm going to be using probably like just this one right here. This is the lightest contour shade. Off camera, I am going to just do my eyebrows just to save time because it's super boring. And as always, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Pencil and the Plumper, which is just like the brow mascara. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes, and I'm going to be using the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. So this one's more like more white to make your colors really pop and stand out on your eyes. So we'll just use a little bit of this. gonna use my finger I've been using this palette now for like the last two weeks or so I got this when I was in Vegas but ah, I'm so excited I love this palette this is the Natasha Denona sunset palette oh my god like mm, absolutely love this I'm so happy I ended up finding this at a Sephora in Las Vegas on like the second day of our trip or something and I've been using it non-stop um, so I'm just gonna actually set my primer and I'm gonna be using this pale pink kind of shade here what is this one called that one's called Bermuda I just had to charge my camera a little bit. Hopefully the battery <laughs> lets me finish this video. So the next shade that I'm gonna use is this orange, like warm orange shade right here. It's called Horizon. And I'm just gonna be placing this just a little bit below where I placed the all over lid shade. Almost like blending this, almost kind of blending the two together. Also, if the sun could just stay out.
I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and pick up that light pink color that I first put down and I'm just gonna blend this shadow out just at the edges. For my all over lid shade, I'm gonna be using this color right here. It's called Morgana or Morgana, however you say it. And I'm actually just gonna use my finger. So pretty. Just going to kind of blend out the edge of that shadow. Then I pick up a little bit of this color right here, which that one is called Mandarin, and I just take a little bit and I just put it right in the center. Just for like a little pop of gold. And then just in the outer edge, I'm gonna use this brown shade right here. This one is called Terra. And then one more time just into a really fluffy brush just to make sure that there's no harsh edges and that everything blended really well. For the brow bone and inner corner, I'm gonna use this shade right here which is called Ice Gold. Right at the lash line, I'm gonna be using this dark brown shade. This one is called Volcano, and I'm gonna use that kind of like an eyeliner just to make everything a little bit more intense. We all know I don't do winged eyeliner. I'm gonna use that same shade um, that I just used, but I'm gonna put it on the lower lash line, like right up against my lashes. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here called Sinai. And I'm gonna blend that out on the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna finish off the eyes by doing my Sephora 12 hour pencil in tiramisu on the upper lash line and then I'm gonna use ColourPop Get Paid on the lower lash line. And last for the eyes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I'm just going to wait for that smudge to dry. And I think, I want to try using this color, but I don't know if it's going to work out. Let's see what happens. I think I'm going to just line my lips with like a really neutral color. This, this is Skimpy by ColourPop. And then I'm gonna see if this color works. This is Sorbet from Anastasia Beverly Hills. See what happens here. I 
I don't know how I feel about this lip color. It looks so much better in person than it does on camera. So I'm really thrown off. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. That was my full face using over $600 worth of makeup. But yeah, I just think it's so crazy how you just don't think about how much your makeup costs. Like the products that you use every single day. I mean, you guys have seen my videos. I use these products all the time. Some of them are so cheap and some of them are crazy expensive. But I just thought that this was a fun concept for a video and I wanted to give it a shot. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Bye!